What is up, YouTube? All right. So this is gonna be a Savannah Monitor um, uh, care video. So there we go. This is T Rex, my boy, right there. Check him out. All right. So for this care video, um, well, for the Savannah Monitor, of course, you're gonna need some sort of side strips that um will hold humidity. So for that case, I have um Eco Earth mixed in with a little bit of um it's called forest floor it's like mulch for um reptiles i have that mixed in and that um ooh 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 check him out check him out he's checking us out right now i think i think one little snack or something but all right so yeah you 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 need some of this for um to hold the humidity in and um it'll be good for him for when he's shedding and stuff Big nice water bowl he get into drink. A nice hideout where he can retrieve from from the UV rays. You know, um, he gets scared, spooked, or or uh, when he goes to sleep, he goes to sleep right in there in that cave right there. He has this trunk he can climb on. Some old leaves, a rock. Oh, this rock he uses it a lot um, when he's shedding. He goes and he starts rubbing his skin or his body. All over this rock that's right here, you know, whenever um he's in shed mode and as you can see right now he got a he has a little shed, a little shed going, you know. And then this is right here where he likes to um sit down and bask and chill after he's eating or if not, he'll come up right here and relax. So over here, um the usual temperature of the cage is around like 70. Um, right here is marking me 83.3 and um, the basking area is about about like a hundred degrees which is good for him so you know once he's done eating the mouses or um, rats mealworms super worms crickets roaches dubia roaches you know anything bam my boy right here and of course you know I've got a Right here, I've got the, um, what's called the UVB, uh, the one that goes um, circles, like that, there's one in there. This is basking light right here, it's a 200 watt. Back there's a UVB, the, um, the fluorescent one, the, the the long tube, but that one's off right now, it's off right now, cause um, it burnt out. And I mean, this is my savannah monitor right there that is t-rex uh he's about what was he five months about like five months old right now and i mean you could throw some insects in there you know in the morning afternoon and some he'll catch and then the rest he'll um forage he'll uh look around and try to get your um his meal but yeah, so in order to keep this guy alive and healthy, like I said, you need uh, the, the temperature of the cage to be at around 70, and then it gets hotter up to 80, 90, and then of course a basking area of at least 100, 120, you know, once he gets um, a little bigger. But you can check him out right now, he is in his cave, look at that. He likes that cave, that cave, my wife made it. My, my wife made that cave for him. I mean, when I got him, when I got T-Rex, he was able to fit right there, right inside of there when I first got him. Now, he don't, you know, he's huge. Look, look at that. He's big. So, yeah. So, that's the type of um, temperature you need in there. Humidity. We'll need, we'll need about um, about 50, about 50 of humidity. So, we'll uh, check in, zoom in right there. It's about 50. Not bad, not bad. And like I said, you can feed him crickets, mouse, rats, dubia roaches, little chickens, pinkies. He'll devour them, guys. And then, you know, like I said, to keep him healthy, you're gonna need a hiding place for him, some fake plants, and the real ones, Um, he'll probably just tear them up, or with the heat, they'll die. Basking areas. He got that one. He'll, he'll be chilling on there. He'll be on this one, or he'll climb this, or he'll be down here, or he'll just do this right here. Like you see him. 
and you know just guys keep feeding him they have a high uh, metabolism so they will um they will actually eat more than other um, reptiles but also you should also be the judge and know um, how much to keep feeding him or to cut down a little bit and you see him a little too fat a little too obese because a little too obese is also bad for them you know like in humans it's bad for us to be a little obese you know heart problems and liver problems and then you know he'll die but you can see him that's that's all that he'll be doing basically just that but um yeah let's uh let's get a little um feeding going on in here so then there's my tub where i get mouses or, or horn worms this right here this, this this is what i use right here ladies and gentlemen for my um so when I, I spray down his cage about once, maybe twice a week, and that's it. And then, you know, some calcium, which we we'll use right now. So, him, he knows this cup already. He knows this is food. He knows he's going to get um fed. So, so... We just do is just spray, ooh, we just sprinkle them in there, sprinkle them off of this in there. And then we're gonna throw some of this powder. Uh, put the lid on it. Uh, just like if you was um, uh, shake and bake. Shake and bake, ladies. down there look at that you see he knows he knows what's up bro right? right Oh, I, I almost had an escapee. All right. That's taken care of. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that. And I mean, that's how you keep them healthy and help and happy, you know? Always make sure you use your, um, your calcium, your vitamins, and you will have a big, healthy, crazy monitor lizard. For many years to enjoy. Look at that. My nigga, wild. Look at that shit. You know, in the substrates, this down here, you know, you change it out about like once a month, once every two months, you know. So, yeah, this guy's coming up to, um, what you swap out his eco earth and the, and that uh, mulch for the, for the reptiles and mix it in. Yeah, look at that, bam. Ooh, we got away. But, ooh, we got away again. All right, well, okay. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to, um, you know, put them in the comments. I'll receive the, um, the email, I'll check it out, and I'll reply. If there's any other questions or concerns about your Savannah Monitor Lizard, um, go on ahead and Put it down in the comments and I will answer you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I check them um, daily. I check it daily. And uh, if you guys like this video, you know, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And um, next I will do a video on my leopard gecko. Well, all right. That's it for the next video then. All right then, bye.